hello welcome back to my channel so as you can see from the title of the video i'm doing a haul today um because i did a little bit of shopping when lydia was here um so that was last week's vlog um which i'd love if you watched because oh my god i love lid so much she's my best friend in the whole world so to be able to like just record little moments with her so special but yeah we went shopping and of course I went with no intention of buying anything like I mean I was like oh yeah let's just go into Nottingham let's just go into town um, I'll have a look round because um, Lid, where Lid lives she's not got the same shops she has to travel a little bit to be able to get to um, like shops whereas we're really lucky that it's literally on the doorstep for us um, so we can just go into town quite easy um, and just pick up things so I went and also the day before we went to Ikea so I got a few bits from Ikea as well because again I went with like yeah well, I mean I go to Ikea quite a lot there's nothing I need right now the biggest load of yeah <laughs> um but yeah I also got a few items of clothing as well which I can show you at the end I will include um the bits of clothes that I got at the end just so that anyone who's interested in what I bought clothes wise and I didn't buy many clothes because I really really restrained myself but I did get a few bits for holiday because we go on holiday later on in the year so I wanted a few new bits because I had a sort out not that long ago and all of my holiday clothes because I don't know about you but I seem to wear the same holiday clothes every single holiday which is fine i'm all about reusing clothes like everyone's got a washing machine do you know what i mean like it's not it's not a problem but i've genuinely well i did genuinely have tops that i wore on holiday that i've worn every single holiday since i was like 18 maybe yeah probably i'd probably say 17 18 i'm 25 now so don't wrong i'm not going on a holiday all the time but every holiday i wear the same let's say this top and i've been wearing that since i was 18 so technically i know i've not worn it that much because but i just thought you know what i want to get a few items of clothing that make me feel good so i did get a few little bits but not a lot and um, because I, I didn't go with the intent to buy holiday clothes but i, I picked a few things up but yeah homeware haul went with the intention to buy absolutely nothing <laughs> um, at the end of the video I will show you where I decide to put all of this stuff because I know that some of you will like to see what I actually do with with the stuff sorry if it keeps going um, lighter and darker as well I have got the blind down right now because the sun is gorgeous I'm not complaining but it, I'm roasting because I'm sat in the window with the best light and it's just beaming um, so I'll put the blind down a little bit but the sun keeps going behind clouds so if I keep going dark and light um, you know why so sorry about that but anyway let's get on to the haul because I've been waiting to put these out because I wanted to show you and um, because I got quite a bit I was like god I may as well film and show you what I got because I love to see what people are getting for homeware stuff and like what's got what in and like like I said I've not got loads and loads but bits and bobs from a few different shops so um, I went to H&M home um, Ikea um, TK Maxx um, so yeah, I'll show you, what, where shall I start? I'll start with Ikea first, so just the basics. So this blanket, now it's not like the most amazing blanket ever. It's You can't really see it that well. Even Brad was like, is that grey? And I was like, no, it's not grey. It's actually like, um, it's a grey like green. It's honestly not showing up very well at all. But it was like £2 and we've got Charlie here at the minute. And at the minute, we've got a blanket on the bottom of the um, one of the sofas that doesn't bring me much joy because it's red. Now, I don't love red. I like certain red clothes, but red, I would probably say, is my least favourite colour. So going into this lovely living room, that's not finished, but the colour is creamy and the carpets are creamy and they're great. Like, it's a grey, creamy sofa. And then this red blanket... I literally was like that desperate that I was like, you know what, I'm buying a blanket just to put on while Charlie's here. Um, and then after that, Chai will have this in his crate um, because I like him to have lots of blankets. Although he is ripping them all up. Um, I don't know how to stop him doing that because obviously he's just getting bored when we're when like he's not he don't even get left very long, like 
I think he just liked to prove a point that like I can bite this so I'm going to but yeah this probably won't last two minutes in his crate but it will last on the sofa so that was literally two pounds so I was like may as well two pound then I got one of these um you can't have enough mason jars um and my intention for this one is I'm gonna make now I don't know if I'm gonna do it right I'm gonna watch a few tutorials but I am gonna make a dandelion tincture i say if, if i'm saying it right where you put vodka and dandelion flowers in and at the minute it's the time of year where we've got loads of dandelions so i'm going to make a dandelion tincture and then i think you're supposed to drain obviously leave it for a few weeks get rid of all the flowers and then what's left is like essentially medicine so when you have a cold or different ailments you can take it again i don't know my stuff i'm not a doctor um there's my disclaimer um but yeah I'm gonna give it a go and I'll let you know if I poison myself. <laughs> Touch wood, I don't. Um, but I've seen loads of people doing it and I love like natural remedies. So I definitely wanted to give it a go. And especially while we've got dandelions, I'm like, why don't I make the most of it? Um, but yeah, onto the next thing. I got this mat. Let me see. It's um, this kind of color. Um, again, I think this was like two pound and I'm like two pound and my intentions for this is to put it in front of the kitchen sink I love a mat in front of the kitchen sink um, I feel like it's much cozier and then you know in the evenings when I'm if I'm washing anything or getting a glass of water I don't know. I feel like it just feels nice to stand on a rug kind of um, in front of the sink I know I don't really know why I've, I love a rug there, but I just feel like it just breaks up the floor space a little bit, but that's the intention for that this one sorry i'm red hot um, and my hair is just um but yeah this one again a bath mat sorry this lighting is not very good is it um and i'm not the best camera woman <laughs> but yeah two pound um and i thought we i need a washing away because my bath mats they're white and got writing and if you've seen one says you look good and the other says get naked i like little quirky ones but i thought you know whilst i'm um washing them and just get one of these you can't go wrong two pound and then you know what i will probably end up doing with that is i'll end up putting chai's dog bowls on them because it's got that non-slip underneath even though it's a rug i know like um carpet material i think i can throw that in the wash really easy um so i thought i'll get that and even if i don't like it in front of the bath I'll, it'll get used under it like his dog bowl so they don't slide about then another another carpet doormat sorry um i got one of these i think these are like five or six quid um but they're a really good size this is my third one of this we've still got one downstairs the first one was when chai was really little he nibbled the end of it off and then he threw up on it so that one got thrown then we've got another and now i thought you know what while i'm there just get another because i like that they're there so that we can wash out like wipe our feet um because chai just paddles things in it's inevitable in it um but yeah so i've got that Sorry, I'm just throwing everything on the floor once I've done with it. But okay, next shop, shall I do H&M or TK Maxx? I'll do TK Maxx. So, well, first of all, <laughs> I got this basket. Um, love it. And my intentions was, I thought maybe under the bench that's in our bedroom. So I'll show you if I haven't tried it. I don't know if it's going to look daft, um, but I'll show you where I put it. And if you can let me know if you think it looks good or if I should put it somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I wanted a basket because I wanted to um, put my slippers and a hot water bottle and then like a spare blanket. Because at the minute, Chai's been sleeping on bed with us, um, which is fine. But we have white bedding and it seems to be getting dirtier quicker. Because for one, he has black fur. Although he doesn't shed very much, he's got black fur. And two, he gets muddy paws, and no matter how well we wipe his paws before we come up to bed, they just get muddy. Um, so we've got like little marks on the bed already, and this is like clean. So I wanted to put a blanket in here so that every night we could just grab, put a blanket on, 
um, and then he can lie on that. I mean, we are going to get him a bed for our room eventually, so he can just sleep in his bed. Because as he gets bigger, it's going to be like having three grown adults in bed. You know? I mean, like, he's going to be a big dog. He's a Doberman, um, if you're new here. So he's a Doberman, so he's going to be a big boy. But we do like sharing bed with him. He just likes to give us a good kiss and a cuddle at night time and we like it. Um, don't judge me. <laughs> um, and then next from TK Maxx was this. And I thought this was so cute. So, sorry, the basket was 14 99 Now, I don't know about you, but to me, that, like, you get some baskets that, like, are so expensive. And when I saw it, it was 14 99 And it's a good size basket. I had to get it even though I went with no intention. <laughs> but yeah, so I got this stand. This was 10 99 um, But I thought it was really cool. And what I'm gonna do is I haven't got a plant to grab. I've got this little one, but imagine a bigger plant. But putting a plant on top of it, um, because, I mean, that didn't look very good realistically, did it? But I have got bigger plants um, that I'm gonna put on it because I think it'd look really nice. Um, and it'd be nice if something like trails off it because I love trailing plants. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And that was, I told you, didn't I? 10.99 from TK Maxx. I think with TK Maxx's, I've watched videos before where people have said they've got things from TK Maxx. But then when you go into TK Maxx, the one near you, they have something completely different. And I think you've got to grab it when you see it because it's all right saying, oh, they have this, but some don't and some they go so quick and they're not guaranteed to have the same stock in again um so i saw it i was a bit undecided and i thought you know what i like it i'm gonna grab it and that led me on to this one which isn't really homeware this is garden related um but this was 4.99 and it's a bird feeder that you attach to your window so um oh my god i love it like i can't wait to do the garden vlog so um we have been doing some garden updates and letting you know what we've been doing but i've got lots of things stored ready for when the decking is finished i'm going to start putting bird houses and all lot like little mushrooms everything like that and i've been waiting until the decking's finished to put it out so this will be going with all of that stuff and then that'll be going out once because i want to do it all together because i like stuff like that um, but yeah so this is a little bird house that you stick onto your window and you put seed in so then you can literally watch the birds come and eat the seed so i could might put it i don't know whether to put it on the bedroom window or on the kitchen window but i thought how nice would it be to just be able to be in the house standing really still and watching like a robin or something just come and eat off the food and us being able to have a real good view of this bird even if it's a pigeon, I'd still be happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just something coming to eat that close to the window where we can get that close to nature without disturbing it. And also, like, feeding its, like, little hungry belly. So, yeah, I loved that. And I saw one in a garden centre um, the other week. And it was, like, I want to say over £10. Because um, I remember thinking, oh, oh I don't really want to pay that. Um... It might have been more than that. I honestly can't remember. But when I saw this and I was like, you know, it's 4 99 I've been wanting one. And how weird that TK Maxx have one. It's a sign. It's a sign to spend your money, Bridie. <laughs> That's all literally. No matter what, if I see something, I'm like, it's a sign. Spend it. Spend it. You can't take it to the grave. But then at the same time, I'm like, no, no, no. We've got lots of things. Sorry, my voice is going. I think mainly because I've been talking a lot, not just in this video, just in life in general, because I've been with Lid. Um, so my voice, sometimes I've been sounding like I'm a 13 year old boy that's just starting to like, my voice is starting to break. Okay, so on to the next. So again, this isn't exactly house related, but I got it from TK Maxx. Um, this is a barbecue. Um, so it's a reusable mini barbecue and um, it's got little legs on it I did break a bit of polystyrene so it's got little legs like that all the way around so you can stand it up um, so it's really really cute because I've got it because me and Brad like to go camping in the van a lot um, through summer um, and we have got a little barbecue but I thought how nice is this it's black it's really cute it's compact 
So we'll probably cook a few veggie burgers on it and sausages or whatever we do. Um, but, so it's got this, so you can lift it up and everything, obviously it's all tied down at the minute. So you can cook stuff on it, but also my intention is we love a fire. Um, so we put like, we, we always have marshmallows and stuff when we go camping. So love a marshmallow, love a fire around like the sitting next to the van in our little camping chairs with a fire on just just being around nature obviously in the evening um we have the fire on and i just thought it was really cute and compact and it says bbq <laughs> on it and i thought that was nice and it was 9.99 now if i'm completely honest i don't really know the average price of a mini barbecue um, obviously it's a coal one so there's no coal in here you have to get coal or wood or whatever you're cooking it on we'd get coal i think and then for the fire we'd put wood on it um but i was like surely that's should be not nine more than 9.99 what did it say it should have been oh because usually they say don't they like what it was um and their price is 9.99 so i'm not sure originally I don't even know if there's a name on it, who it's by. Um, no, it doesn't say. But I just thought, oh my gosh, I love it. And really cute. So, yeah, a barbecue, a mini barbecue. So a bit of a random one. But I saw it, and again, I thought, you know what, Bridie, you're in TK Maxx, and if you don't get it now, it's gone. <laughs> so I got it. Although I did just show my mum it on FaceTime. And she was like, oh, I could do one of them. So she's probably going to go and see if they've got any left. But... Oh my god, my cheeks are getting rosy, aren't they? Are they? Or is that just the lion? I don't know. Either way, I'm sweating. It's hot. <laughs> okay, next. H&M. So we went into um, H&M at Nottingham. And I always shop on H&M online. Love it. They've got some really nice stuff. Anyway, I didn't realise they had a homeware section. It's not the biggest homeware section in Knott's. But I didn't even know they had it. So we went upstairs... Um, to see if there, cause the, oh, there was this change room palaver. Anyway, we went upstairs and I thought, oh my God. And I literally heard, ah, and this bright white light. And I saw H&M home and I was like, <laughs> spending my money, <laughs> take it, take it now, literally. <sighs> anyway, sorry, I'm getting excited, aren't I? Cause I talk very fast anyway. Never mind when I'm talking to you. I talk even faster. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you. I didn't get loads again because for one, I thought, oh my God, I've got to carry all this back to the car. <laughs> and I just thought, you know what? I'm going to um, go steady, pick some things. I took some photos of things. And I also showed you in the last vlog, we walked around H&M. So if you at some point when me and Lid go shopping, I walk around H&M and I show you some nice things. So if you want to see what the I saw and what I liked, I do point out a few things. Um, there was a picture frame that I really liked and I think I'm going to order. Um, but as always, when I get them, I'll show you um, what comes and what I like and where I put it and everything. Because I like to show you all our house updates and keep you up to date with what we're doing in the house. Because I love to watch it when I watch other people's. Um, but yeah, so from H&M, these were actually on sale, so they're not the fanciest of things, they're literally just, let me let it focus on it, you going out this material, so nothing fancy, but they're pillowcases, and they were £3.99, um, I'm sure there should have been more, but there was £3.99, um, so I got four of them because I'm wanting to change up the cushions on the sofa. So at the minute, the sofa, um, down, obviously downstairs in the living room, we've got the back cushions on one sofa, but then the sofa that me and Brad sat on all the time, we've actually took the back cushions off because we, we find it that we sat up too right and there's not enough bum room because the cushions are really thick. So we've took them off and it's like more laid back and comfier. So the whole reason we had that was because I didn't want scatter cushions on the back because I knew that I'd be constantly fluffing them and trying to sort them out and making them neat. But we've got these ones and we don't necessarily love the way they feel. So we've took them off really comfy now. 
but it doesn't look as good so i'm gonna try and dress it up with a few pillows to see what i can make it like how how i can make it look a bit like nicer um so i'm gonna get that's why i got four of these um, and then i'm gonna get a few more um other styles i'm not sure what yet um but try and dress it up a little bit with some pillows um, and see what we're working with there um, but yeah so i've got four of them um which i really like and i thought for 3.99 can't really go wrong can you like they're literally just cream pillowcases and even if i didn't use them on the sofa i'd use them in our room or on the spare bed like it they'd have a home like that's for sure they would have a home um but yeah so then i got a flower pot or a plant pot um so this one has got a hole at the bottom which is what i've been actually after for a lot of my plants um or keeping them in the plastic container so that i can take them out and water them and then this has a dish so that when i water them all the excess water that the plant doesn't want will just come out of the bottom and i'm not going to drown it which i was saying in the other vlog never really know if i'm giving my plants enough water or i'm actually drowning them so i've, I've started decantering them what would it be called like taking them out of their pots, putting them in plastic ones and then putting the plastic in the pot. So then when I water them, I can take the plastic one out, put it under the tap or the shower and put it back in. So everything can drain out the bottom rather than just getting like root rot and sitting at the bo bottom. Um, yeah. Um, so next at H&M, I got this blanket or throw. Um, this was also not that bad. So this was 12 99 Don't wrong, some of them, like the throws on, the cheapest but they are they do feel lovely and um, but this one is literally just a really thin um again the sun's out so but it's like a beige color really good size it's it's actually really really good size um and it's yeah it's lovely 12.99 and i'm thinking that might go across the sofa because i've got one of the blankets up here on the bench now um so that means we're missing a blanket from downstairs so i wanted to get an extra blanket because i love blankets like layers on everything because i like when people come around if they feel cold they can grab a blanket or it just adds a little bit of texture to the room and obviously eventually the living room's not not finished yet um but i like the sofas and everywhere just to feel cozy i think that's my goal for the living room is literally just cozy um comfortable and relaxing a bit like our bedroom i want it to just be and like let's put a film on and i mean that's that's the idea if it portrays that i'm not sure but um but yeah so that is oh did i tell you the price for everything oh the plant pot let me tell you the price of the plant pot the plant pot wasn't actually that cheap if i'm completely honest um so the plant pot was 17 pound 99 it didn't have the price on it um, when I bought it, but then at the same time I'm like, but you like it, so $17.99 it is for a plant pot. Um, but yeah, so that is everything that I got from uh, Homeware Haul. Um, I hope you like everything. Again, I, I, it's not the biggest Homeware Haul, but I'm not made of money. Um, and also, I've only got two arms, so I couldn't carry any more, technically. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, no, I do love everything. Uh, and I'm really happy with everything that I've got because everything just is... I'm just excited. I love homeware shopping. Homeware shopping over clothes shopping any day. Because homeware stuff makes me feel good. Whereas, you know, when you try some clothes on that just don't... And you just think... Or you see something you really like and it don't fit. Or they don't have it in your size. Or there's none of that drama. You see a basket you like. Bob's your uncle. Fan is your aunt. Do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I literally we went out for a meal, a meal this today, me and Brad did. And I think I've had a coffee and I've had a nice um, Sunday dinner. I've had some chocolate cake. And I think... I'm on a high, like, just, I'm happy, I think, from the food, um, and it, the sun shining, so I'm very, like, hyper, uh, I feel very hyper, actually, I don't know why, but yeah, so I'm sorry if you find me a lot, um, <laughs> but okay, so I'll just go and get the clothes that I got, um, and then I'll show you them quickly, because don't worry, there's not many, and then I'll show you where I'm going to put everything, 
be right back. So, okay, I'm back. Um, so to start it off, I got this top from Zara. Um, I love the frilly. I think it's really cute. Can you see the frills? The sun isn't, um, let me just put the blind up a little bit to see if, there we are. You can see it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cute and just like dressy without feeling like uncomfortable or over the top. Um, but yeah, I really liked that. I'm putting the blind back down because I won't actually be able to see what I'm looking at if I don't. But yeah, I thought it was really cute. And then I wore it today when we went out for a Sunday dinner and I just thought, yeah, love it. I think it's really nice. Um, and I don't think it was too bad. I have tried to get, get the receipts. But what I will do though, if I can find everything, I will link it below. Um, again, the things from TK Maxx, I'm not going to be able to link. Um, or Ikea, I don't think. Maybe I will, um, but all of my clothes I'll link below if I can find the link. Um, so another thing from Zara that I got was this dress, um, just this white frilly dress. Um, so it's quite tight at the top and then it literally just goes out like that. Um, and I thought it was so cute. A little bit like a doll dress if I'm completely honest. I felt a little bit like a doll. Um, and it's not something that I would normally wear, but I want to wear more dresses on holiday and I thought you know what Bridie it might not seem like out of someone's comfort zone it might seem like a real basic dress but this kind of dress like frilly dresses even though I feel more confident in them because I think you can eat as much as you want and you can get a food baby and not be like oh my god I've got a food baby because it's it's not fitted um, so you technically feel I, I technically feel more confident in them but years ago all you would ever catch me in is like a body can't fit a dress <sighs> couldn't really think of anything much worse now for me personally i love to see it but i just don't feel great in them so i thought you know what i want some summer dresses and this this was there and i loved it and i love that it's white because i think it'll look nice with a tan even though i don't really tan <laughs> i just go more like yellow um which is fine i don't mind um i am what i am um, but yeah, so this was 32 99 so I was a bit like, oh god, do I really like it that much? But I do, I do like it, um, and I think that'll look really nice with some sandals, um, a little hat, or if it's in the evening. Um, but no, I thought it, it was nice, so I thought, you know what, Brady, treat yourself. And then what else did I get? What is that? Oh god, I wonder what I got then forgetting. Um, but yeah, so then another thing from Zara was you see me in these all of the time. Just this little basic tease. They, I get them all from Zara and I got a couple from Pull and Bear. Um, but this is 5 99 for like a basic tee. And I wear them all the time. I got that in a medium. And they're just so comfy. You can dress them up. You can make them casual. You can go to bed in them. Like pyjama top, going out top. Like no matter what you wear, you can dress them up. And I just thought they're dead comfy. I don't love to wear a bra. I can't remember the last time. Other than for work, I don't wear bras. Don't like them. I find them uncomfortable. So I, I feel confident enough to wear no bra with stuff like this. Um, so I like that. Anything they like. Hashtag free the nip. Um, okay, so then next is Primark. Again, a bit of something different. I got this shirt, it needs an iron, um, well I say it needs an iron, it needs to be hung because realistically Rob's not going to get the iron out because I know what I'm like. <laughs> but yeah, so it's very sheer um, and I'm not going to put it on because I'm not going to do it any justice right now. Um, but I thought it was really nice as I like, instead of going out in summer in like a jacket and then or not taking one because it's warm and then regretting it in the evening or whatever. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to get um, a shirt, like a sheer shirt. And it was £8 and I loved the colour because it was summery. And I thought, that's really, really nice. Then I saw this skirt on someone's Instagram. Um, or I screenshot it anyway. And then we went to two Primarks. We went to one... Went to one, a different one when we went to a cafe the other week and it wasn't there. And then I saw it in the Nottingham one. And oh my God, I love it. Again, it's so bright that it's just not picking up that well. But it's just like this floral, silky skirt. No zips on it, nothing. Um, 
and I thought, oh my gosh, that was like a nice little white t-shirt on holiday or a bralette. Um, and, it, and even like that shirt for when I get cold, like I want to look like a rainbow or I want to either look like I'm on Mamma Mia or like just this colourful, I don't know. That's, that's the vision anyway. Mamma Mia is always a good vision, isn't it? Like I just want to look sun-kissed and colourful and summery but then also wear white to make my tan look better even though I literally just go yellow just just yeah um and then this which I thought was so cute um this was oh that skirt was eight pound by the way no nine pounds sorry then I got this which is a play suit um which I will actually probably wear in the evening so what I will probably wear mind you it might be a bit sheer i might feel a little bit too naked so if i don't wear it in the evening i'll wear it in the day over a, a bikini um but if i wear it in the evening i will obviously wear a brawler um, because you would be able to see everything i think well maybe you wouldn't no i think you would um and then i'd probably wear like some um bather like a bikini bottom but like um a nice i don't know i don't know but it, either way, I'll be wearing it in the day. I haven't quite got that yet. But this is £10 and it's a small. But it's like, um, it's it's meant to be baggy. It's meant to be oversized. But if I'm honest, I didn't actually try this on. Um, but as I was in the queue, I saw it. And then I just took it. Very impulsive, as you know. But yeah, so they're my little clothes items that I got. Um, and I'm really happy with them. So I had a bit of a spoil me in the house day which i think sometimes you need don't get me wrong i like to say we like, like we like to save our money and spend it on we've got big things to buy at the minute like wood wood costs a fortune for the decking but sometimes you need to treat yourself so responsibly obviously um but i thought you know what i've got a little bit of money that i've put aside my best friend's here we're shopping i'm having a good time I'm going to get some stuff for the house and, and it just feels good, doesn't it, just to look after yourself. Um, but you haven't got to spend money to look after yourself, just so you know. Have a bath, put a face mask on, um, I don't know, dance in the kitchen. Just whatever makes you feel good. But yeah, that's um, it did make me feel good to, to treat myself to some house stuff because... I love house stuff and then obviously yeah, some holiday clothes it makes me a bit excited although I'm already so excited to go on holiday but holiday clothes knowing that yeah <laughs> here I am rambling again you guys know I talk a lot um, and I also sometimes can't get my words out because I talk that fast um, but yeah so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tidy all of this up and I'm going to put um, some of the things in their place you come to help mummy He's like, now daddy's cooking banana bread. Can you smell that? Doesn't that smell delicious? Say, so, daddy. Look how long his legs look. Oh, he's getting so big. Okay, say so I'm 19 weeks now. <laughs> so if you've been watching for a while, you know what our bedroom looks like. Um, but this is the bench that I was talking about, me and Brad. Um, actually made that um, I love this part of the room and then across there is the drawers the canvas I made don't worry guys I know a lot of you want to watch and I, like I've asked out how I did it I am going to film another tutorial and actually doing it um, I'm not an artist but I'll go through everything that I did so that you can re recreate your own um, but yeah um, so this is our bedroom and what we're working with at the minute we still need bedside table lamps um, but yeah I love it um, and this is the bench I put my hair up because I was too hot um, but yeah so this is obviously the basket um, I'm gonna put it under the bench I have got my hot water bottle that my mum and my stepdad got me for Christmas it's a white company one. Oh my god it's so comfy and I felt very bougie for having a white company hot water bottle I've got my slippers which I love um and then i'm gonna put that blanket that i got in in there um i'm not sure if that's where it's gonna live because realistically i don't think this is the one that i want chai to be lying on because i just think it will pull easy um with his nails but for now 
this is what we're going to work with i'm going to see what it looks like it's going to be a bit of inspiration um because i might there is there is other blankets downstairs that i might bring up i'm not too sure um but yeah i'm going to see what it looks like and put it all together um and then you can let me know what you think so i'm thinking there or should it go in the middle no i'm thinking more so there so that it's not covered by that um although i want it to be practical because i want to be able to grab things like my slippers i also want it to look like aesthetically pleasing aesthetically pleasing that's the word isn't it um because things like that bring me joy oh god i've got fluff all over this top now from this blanket okay yeah i think i quite like that i'll let you have a look and see what you think um but i think that looks really cute so the blanket the hot water bottle my slippers i have got these as well i bought these from primark which are really nice um but oh yeah oh i need to take the label off oh my god i'm never strong enough either to take these off mm, no oh see i could just get the scissors but <sighs> oh yes <laughs> um but yeah that is that oh see i really like that do you think it should go in the center this is what it looks like in the centre. Let's have a look. <clears throat> no, I definitely, I personally prefer it to the left. But let me know what you think and the majority will win. Because <laughs> I like that. Cause I think that looks really cute. Oh, yeah, so the basket and the blanket are there. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Love that. So the blanket and the basket are out. The mats are just going to live in the garage. The barbecue is just going to live in the garage um, and the birdhouse. And I did get a few new plants from the garden centre, which I will show you. And then I can put one in that new pot, which, oh my God, I missed off another pot that I got from Primark as well. That was silly of me. Do you know what? What I might do, I might put this mat under the dog's bowls just for the reason I'm so fed up of wiping up spilt water. Um, this definitely will need something underneath it so I don't like go flying. But, oh, that's quite cute. Yeah, I do like that. Um, definitely need something under it because I can actually imagine myself going, oh, you know what? That looks quite nice. Brad, yeah. come on, look at this. That looks nice. That's Charlie's. Uh, that looks better, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Looks same. Yeah. yeah, no, but like, Peter. it's non-slip. And also, yeah, pardon you. Um, and also, when he pours all his water out, at least it can soak yeah. into that. Yeah. yeah. Do you like the new mat? Do you like the new mat? <laughs> Is daddy talking for you? Is he doing that silly voice? Oh, my baby. This is my baby, guys. Oh, you've got sleep in your eye. This is my baby. Are you mummy's baby? Can I have your paw? <laughs> oh, Lord. You're a good boy. Do you want a treat? Yeah, he's looking up at the shelf because that's where we keep them. Do you want a treat? Yeah? Okay. I bought um, some plants from the garden centre the other weekend. I did. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you these. I got these from Primark candlesticks. Um, I think I showed them in my last vlog. But I did buy a new bob because my other fern. <laughs> my other fern. I'm learning from my mistakes. This is my other fern. I'm trying to nurse it back to life. I've put it in a new um, plastic one and not just in. But this one's going to live here. And I think that looks really nice there. That's Charlie, by the way, my mum's dog. Um, but I think that looks really nice there. But I bought another plant, which I love. I bought a Monstera. 
I can't wait to watch this baby grow. Um, and then I also picked up this pot. This pot, look how gorgeous it is. Primark, 10 pound, and it's huge. Um, but I don't have a plant at the minute really big enough to go in it. But that just means one thing, more plants. That's cute, isn't it, that? Yeah, you're cute. I like that. This is the red blanket I was talking about. Beautiful. <laughs> just not my style. Just not something I like. But we've put blankets on um, the sofas just to protect them, especially while we've got two dogs here. At the minute, we've got it on a cream one on our normal sofa. Here <laughs> Brad is right now giving our boy kisses um, and I can deal with the cream because I don't want well it's a puppy as well and just not like it's just running in um, but especially while we've got two dogs here who play fight I wanted to just protect this sofa so my mum's got a few blankets so I shoved this on this sofa um, but it just even though it's temporary it just doesn't it's red it's red it just doesn't go with the vibe so I'm just going to change it that just looks so much better. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not the best, but especially with all the lovely dog toys everywhere. <laughs> because of you. Because of you. Hey. Um, but you're worth it, aren't you? Sleepy boy. My sleepy boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's on there. So that is that one. And I think that looks super cute there. Really happy with it. What do you chava? You're sunbathing on the chair. Yes, a yes by day. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Sorry it wasn't the biggest, um, but it was big enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to find a place for the other stuff um, and eventually everything will have its home. But for now, I'm just going to shove the other stuff in the garage until I can find a place and I need to find a place for this um, my monstera as well um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and being here and supporting if you could like thank you that'd be amazing and if you aren't already please subscribe um, because I love to know how many of you like want to watch parts of my life I think that's really amazing um, so yeah Thank you for being here, um, and as always, I shall see you next Tuesday. Um, stay safe, um, and I hope you've had a lovely weekend, or whatever day you're watching this. I hope you're having a lovely day, um, and I hope the sun's shining for you. Um, yeah. Just stay positive. <laughs> I want to be positive. I want to be an escape for you when you come and watch me sometimes. I'm always going to be honest with you, um, but... I hope I've cheered up your day a little bit or just gave you a bit of inspiration. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.